back, you're here with Nate to wait. This is Cross Beats Production. So I want to show you guys a quick tip, show and tell type thing. Um, it's more or less about the NPCs and NPC 3000, 1000, and even the um, you know the EMU, uh, the SP 1200, uh, things like that. Um, so basically, Logic had some, I guess, some templates created. I don't know how long ago they were, but Logic Cafe created these templates, and uh, whoever actually created them is a genius. Uh, but anyway, um, luckily enough, they can be downloaded on the PreSona store as well. And what I'm talking about is basically the grooves that you use with um, with your MIDI. Some of these grooves, and as you can see here, if I just zoom in, you can see that the actual groove is slightly off off the actual grid there. And um, that's actually really convenient if you're looking to get a more realistic type sound and getting that sound in your DAW uh, to sound more like a humanized type of uh, drum beat rather than just somebody just playing out MIDI and, you know, noting it into your, your DAW. Um, so in Studio One, this was used in Logic as well, but in Studio One, they've allowed you to download it. And the way that it actually can be done is if you go to the Cloud tab, this is on your main, you know, obviously the, the full version of Studio One. So if you go to your cloud tab, sign into to the, the cloud there. Um, if you come down to the sound sets tab here, so this is what it'll look like when you first sign in. So you come down to that and um, you go down to this Logic Cafe little tab here. Basically click on that and we'll have all these grooves. Uh, so basically you can download them. So I've already installed them. So normally it would say install down the bottom here and um, then you can install them. So basically if you download all of these into your DAW, uh, PreSonus. Basically, when you come into then going into the grooves, say for example with my drums, this is what I did with this beat. I've showed you, I showed you this beat on a, a video for a tape emulation plugin. Uh, so I'll just quickly play it out to you anyway. All right, cool. So. To create my drums, I basically used a number of different, I guess, groove settings on this particular MIDI track. So on the the snare, um, I left the the kick on the grid, so I just didn't change that at all. So that's, if I just zoom in a bit, you can see that's on the grid, 100% on the grid. I haven't changed that at all. Uh, but with the snare, I actually left let it go off the grid a bit, and I used the MPC um, 1000 setting at it's a, I guess it would be an eighth eighth note at 58 or sorry 51 percent off uh so there's a bit of a you know a groove on that so basically the same as you get in machines so i've got a machine um here with me at the moment so the same as swing the swing settings on the machine you can basically you know on on mpcs or all the other hardware that you'd have you'd be able to set swing settings on those as well so they've allowed you to use the swing settings that you would see on the mpc inside of studio one so that's really awesome if you're trying to get a real kind of uh, good groove going on and you want to have the drum track just slightly off the grid or whatever and have it make it, you know, make it sound more realistic so that it sounds really good. Um, so I just wanted to show you, you know, share this with you guys if you're not familiar with this because uh, I only just come, you know, stumbled across it because I saw it on other videos. Uh, every once in a while I, I just wondered where these grooves came from. I just did some research, came across it and realized it was on the... Uh, <laughs> The exchange so you can actually get it on the exchange so like i said if you go into your your cloud setting go into there uh, go across all the way down to the cafe or coffee sorry coffee grooves which is by logic cafe um, you can download all of these groove settings and then use them in your daw so when you go to quantize basically change the settings here you've got your normal sort of quantizing stuff here uh, but otherwise if you want to use something different it allows you to use different settings in here so you've got all these different ones here now available to you to use so I'll catch you guys on the next tutorial, of course, and uh, as per usual, peace out. And uh, just before I let you guys go, I want to call out uh, one of the guys that I just had a recent chat with. His name is Fox from Sound Design Tutorials. Uh, go check his channel out. I'll leave his uh, channel in my links description down below in the comments there. Uh, you guys can have a look at that as well. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.